Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is what are some things you do not like about young adult or adult books? Young adult or adult, which covers every book targeted at anyone from 13-ish up. So that's pretty much every book. So I'm gonna narrow that down to young adult because adult's a bit of a broad category. So I'll carry off on what do I not like about young adult books? Well, I don't dislike young adult books. I just find it harder to read lots of young adult books all at once and harder to empathize with the characters of young adult books because of the capturing of the teenage mindset. But from what I remember of being a teenager, everything is intense and significant. And so these protagonists, these storylines, are driven by a character who has an intense, almost egomaniacal centrality to it. That it's all about them. And it's reasonable because that's what the core market's mindset is like. So that's what the protagonists should be like. But I find it a little overwhelming sometimes. I take vampires. I love vampire books. Vampire young adult is probably the biggest chunk of young adult that I read. But you take the classic vampire novel, a, a lone individual or small group of heroes fight a vampiric villain or the Newer end, the vampire isn't a villain so much as an anti-hero. And there's some question of, well, does the means justify the end? Or the paranormal romance branch, where it's a vampire burdened by problems from his past and a female protagonist who doesn't realize so it's about well can they get to, can they overcome the fact that she suddenly has to believe in vampires and the reason he's being a dick about everything is plot reasons that he can overcome by the end of the book so that's and where there is a giant conspiracy it's mostly the giant conspiracy is being dealt with by people who would fit within a giant conspiracy. Either people who have known the vampires were around for ages or are vampires themselves. So would have an involvement and not some outsider. But you take vampire young adult, you take Twilight, for example, an ordinary teenager ends up torn between not one, but two hunky supernatural bows while dealing with her strict parents from memory also her mother getting into a relationship with someone else and a war within vampires about rulership it's just it's it's too much for me to read large chunks of i i like more emotional nuance from my books rather than this teenage mindset dialed up from the world is crazy and confusing to teenagers so in young in young adult fiction the world is crazy and confusing dialed up to 11 dystopic evil vampire world spanning conspiracies werewolf versus vampire boyfriend issues it's it's not that I dislike it in one book, but if I read a fantasy series, even a substantial one like The Wheel of Time or The Malazan Book of the Fallen, read a couple of volumes in a row, that will take me a length of time, but I'll come out of it having read a number of books. If I read 
the entire Twilight series back to back. It's the experience of coming out the end is something like turning the contrast and color and so on on your screen all the way up to the top. So everything's everything's too you're staring at the picture where everything's too bright and it leaves me feeling slightly drained by the end because it's all just that little bit more intense that I want for an extended period. So it's not a criticism of the books so much as a compliment that they've managed to represent quite well a mindset that isn't mine. So that I guess is it. Toodaloo.